Hey, what's up you guys? Shardimus Prime here, doing another Marvel Legends action figure review on the 60 years of X-Men, the deluxe blob. Nothing moves the blob. This is one that I was a little skeptical about, and we'll see once I open it, but so far, uh, the 50-something price tag for how large this box is doesn't seem too horrible, but again, I'll let you guys know how I feel about it once I actually open it. Anyway, we have some artwork on the front behind the 3D rendered image of the blob. We get a 3D rendered image on one side and the artwork on the other. And then on the back, you can see the blob again with the accessories. On the top, we have a 60 years logo, not much more at the bottom. And yeah, the box is definitely a lot more simplified than what we've seen before in the past from Marvel Legends. Uh, and, you know, we'll see if the figure comes out of here. Okay, let's find out and crack this thing open but first if you're trying to get your marvel legends you can do so at big 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 get your big badass toys at bigbadtoystore.com click the link in the description below and here's the blob out of the packaging not looking too bad i do like how the figure looks and it is a very different blob figure from the first one from back in 2008 right so anyway i knew that going in but playing around with it a bit you know it, it definitely feels like a very different figure and there's some stuff over here that i really like that's going on let's get a closer look at the accessories and then we'll take a closer look at the figure we have two fisted hands we have a wide open hand over there and then a grabbing hand on this side and the two head sculpts it would have been nice to get the bonus feature of some ricochet bullet effects like we'd seen with the 20 years captain america i did use these for some photos and i really liked having them on his belly anyway the fists look really good with the little spots on them and everything and we get that with the wide open hands too or the wide open hand here here. you can see those little spots and then you get those on this one as well and i gotta say i really do like both of these head sculpts i cannot really complain about them I i'm pretty happy with these I, I do like both of them and i like how the hair is sculpted right here you get some nice neck fat and everything they look great man the, the photo real tech it just impresses me i'm so happy to see it on the comic figures you have the screaming head right over here looks great teeth paint looks fantastic the inside of the mouth looks really good Really happy with both of these, man. I, I can't express that enough for a little comparison right here. You can see the first version compared to this new version. I'll try to do some head swaps later. Stay tuned. Also, I wanted to point out the hair detail. Well, we also have some really nice shadowing effect or some highlights. And I like that the hairstyles are different between the two blobs. <laughs> That little gripe I have is that when you do get the head on here and you have him look up, you might see a little bit of gappage right there, but due to the color of his suit, it all kind of blends in, but from certain angles, it's going to be annoying. And I guess my biggest gripe with this figure is I wish it was just larger. As you can see in all these photos over here, though, the blob changes size throughout the years. Obviously, his first appearance, he's a bit smaller, and as time goes on, he gets bigger, depending on who's drawing him. So I'll do some size comparisons later on. Looking at the figure again, though, I really love the sculpt. Like, the details that we're seeing throughout on this just look fantastic. His whole suit and the wristbands have this nice leathery texture to it and i really dig that a lot and then the rivets or the seams right over here look really good and yeah i wish they added a little bit more yellow paint to it as you can see it gets a bit transparent over here so that could have used more paint and the texturing is kind of falling apart on the back of the figure right there but yeah same thing with the stripes right here at the top on this side wish they had more paint right there we get more liver spots throughout on the skin and i like the flesh tone and then here's where you have the little rivets right here on the wristbands and that leathery texturing right there i don't know why they didn't go with that softer squishy thing like we had gotten on the mojo you know what i mean that would have been really cool to get on this figure more so than the mojo you know but i do like how the belt looks it actually has some nice texturing detail in it so i do like that then the legs look really good too big old chunky legs right over here and we get those liver spots all over the place and then again uh, the boots have this nice detail right here on the edge and they have that leathery detail that i really like a lot just makes the whole thing look a lot more realistic and of course we gotta take a look at the back of the figure we gotta get a look at that blob no but the back of the figure has the liver spots throughout so it doesn't just disappear appear on the back of the figure it does disappear a little bit on the front right here on this side i noticed like the liver spots just disappear a bit on the front of this leg but yeah it's on the back of the figure too it, i like that so the articulation really stands out with this figure with the ball joint at the neck you can get him looking up all the way 
downward just that much you get side to side motion over here it does run into uh, the suit when you turn his head side to side a bit but he will turn side to side and you get good head pivoting over here shoulders will move outward at 90 degrees you can move them inward rotate a full 360 and then you get pretty good single jointed elbows you know at least meets at the 90 degree mark which is more than the original version as it's still headless right now so more range of movement right there at the elbow, rotates at the elbow, then all the hands turn side to side and they hinge up and down. I don't like how the joints look, by the way. That looks very angled and weird and it kind of breaks up the aesthetics of the figure. You do have a diaphragm joint and it does have good diaphragm pivoting and it shifts forward a little bit and back. And then the hips do move outward very far. And you can get him kicking forward, and you can see the nalgas hanging out. And uh, they will move back a little bit, you get an upper thigh cut, single jointed knee. No real rotation at the knees. Like, if you are to try to get that loose, I think you'd have to move some plastic around. So you can't really get that knee rotation to work. Uh, you can get the ankles to move down though, they do move up and beautiful ankle pivot. Now to measure out this blob figure, and yeah, it's weird. Depending on the camera angle, I can read the measurement differently from what you guys see, but for me, it's looking like he's just under eight and a half inches tall. And then for some size comparisons, you can see blob next to the Mojo Pulse exclusive version, and yeah, you can see he has a squishy belly right over here, right? Would have been nice to get that detail on this one, but no. And by the way, New Year's resolution is to get more caught up on my reviews. I still haven't reviewed this box set amongst a whole bunch of other legends. But this year, I'm going to make it a habit of skipping to the newest ones I have first, so I don't do that again. And then here's the blob next to the Build-A-Figure Juggernaut, and we have the 80 Years Hulk. And when I see him next to these two figures, I actually feel okay with the size. I don't think it's bad. I never said it was wrong but I would prefer larger. Then here's Blob next to some Brotherhood of Evil Mutants characters. We have the Avalanche, which I didn't review. We have Sabretooth, Magneto, Toad, and Mystique. And I'm waiting for that Destiny Mastermind 2-pack, Hasbro. When are you guys gonna make that thing already, huh? Yeah? yeah? And then here's Blob next to the Juggernaut Build-A-Figure Wave Wolverine, and then we have the Juggernaut 2-Pack Colossus. And as you guys saw at the beginning of the video, I did have fun with these. And finally, for your Blob comparison, we have the first Hasbro Build-A-Figure version, and we have the new one right over here. And this one does stand a little bit taller. It does have a little bit more mass, and it's not that much bigger. I like this overall more so than this one. Like, this is just the better action figure. Now, I'm not saying that, you know, you have to replace this one with this one. If you just want the figure to stand there in the back, then you're going to be fine with that. You could probably just leave it there and not even bother with this. But if you want to have some new blob fun and pose your figure around, uh, you're going to have a great time with this one right over here. I think it's actually pretty awesome. As far as a head swap goes... Uh, it's not going to work out perfectly at all, but you can get this head resting on there. You may need some sticky tack, and boom, there you go. Now you can put the head on that blob right over there. Will this fit here? It will not. But with some sticky tack, um, yeah, that looks really weird. If you angle it right, it might look okay. Yeah, that's just not going to work. Then here's the blob next to your average 6-inch scale figure. We have the Marvel Legends Big Time Letdown Spider-Man. Nothing moves the blob, huh? I challenge that. Whoa! Oh, wow. Well, let's try that again, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, show some love to the channel, especially with all that stop motion with the like button. And if you're new here, hit that subscribe button for more videos coming your way on this channel. That was a lot of fun doing that, but I actually really had a good time with this figure more than I thought I was going to. I came into this purchase thinking, ah, I don't need this. I like the blob that I have, but I do like posing it around and I did have a really good time with it and doing the stop motion with it, even though it didn't do that much, I wouldn't have been able to get the figure moving as fluidly as I did with the first version. So for that, I mean, that makes me happy. So. I understand this is not going to be a purchase for everybody. Like I said, if you're happy with your blob figure and you don't plan on doing much with the blob, like, yeah, just keep your old one, man. It's fine. You'll be okay. You'll be satisfied on passing on this one. But if you missed out on that blob Build-A-Figure and you want one for around 55 bucks, around that price point, which to me, like, it does feel like a little bit much. I'm used to Build-A-Figures being around 
the $40 mark, that's how I see this. I mean, this would definitely be a Build-A-Figure, but Build-A-Figures can get really expensive, right? But then if you compare this to, like, the Modoc figure, you know, around 50 bucks, to me, it doesn't really feel that bad, but after tax and everything, you're looking at around 60 bucks. Anyway, at that price point, I'm gonna give this Blob figure a sun rating of... I love it! And to each their own. Again, some people are gonna want this figure and be really happy with it, and others are just gonna easily pass up on it, and I think that's fine too. So, I'm happy I have it. At first, I didn't think it was gonna replace the first Blob figure, but yeah, now that I've had a lot of fun with it, it will. And I like the figure, what can I say, man? Anyway, let me know what you think. If you wanna see the latest in Marvel news, you can find it all over at MarvelousNews.com. And if you wanna stay in touch with me on social media, you can find me on Instagram, Twitter, Twitch, TikTok, and on whatnot. I will catch you guys later. Peace. Crispy. Hey, new Shark Miss Prime videos. Hey, you should click one. Yeah, click on one of them. Or subscribe if you haven't.